Triumph may have been a bit slow to come to India's big bike party, but now that they're here, they've got the throttle wide open with nine showrooms slated to be ready by the end of June. And from there, they'll be selling a hugely diverse and hugely exciting range of motorcycles, including this one, their global bestseller, the Street Triple. And it looks like this is going to be rocking the India scene as well. The signature look for Triumph street bikes is raw and in your face. It's something that Indians should like. But the rest of the bike is quite normal, except that it is beautifully built. Everything that you touch, use or just look at is of top quality. The Street Triple might be the least expensive of Triumph's modern range of motorcycles, but it feels every bit as appealing as you would expect from this British mark. Now these bug-eyed headlamps may not be to everybody's liking, but you'd be willing to look past them once you get into the saddle and experience the Triumph DNA that's just oozing out of this three-cylinder motor. When you're in the saddle, you will feel like you're plugged into the 675cc motor because the rear wheel will do exactly what your right hand says. Then there's the door. You have 6.9 kilograms at just under 10,000 RPM. But the magic of the three-cylinder motor is apparent much earlier in the rev range. You can pull in 6th gear from under 30 km an hour, that too without any stuttering. And when you have that kind of responsiveness at low and mid-range speeds, along with a light action clutch, you can be sure that the Street Triple will be a great companion for everyday riding. But then on the right road, crack the throttle open and you will have to hang on for dear life. Because this motor loves to rev. It just rockets to its 13,000 RPM redline when given the chance. And thanks to a counterbalancer, there are no vibrations even at the very limit. The street's 104.5 bhp sends it blasting to 100 km an hour in first gear alone. And when you keep pulling through the sweet 6-speed gearbox, Triumph will hit over 200 km an hour without any hesitation. Bottom line, this is a hugely impressive and a hugely versatile motor. It's got this flat, broad range of torque, which means city duty is not a hassle. And when you head out, it's got enough punch on offer to keep things interesting. And of course, when you find a nice twisty road, the suspension setup backs it up perfectly. The chassis is rigid and light and uses an aluminum twin spar with a cast alloy subframe. And right out of the box, the street is ready for some exciting riding. The 41mm upside down front forks and the bottom link monoshock dish out a smooth and controlled ride. The one piece handlebar has the right kind of leverage and lets you point the street smoothly through bends. At 183 kilos, the street is the lightest in this class. And along with its 14 10 mm wheelbase, the street feels really quick on its feet. But even when you crank up the pace, this Triumph remains unshakable. The seating position is sporty enough and you can anchor yourself onto the 17.4 litre fuel tank with ease. As can be expected from tyres that are called Pirelli Diablo Rossos, the grip is absolutely devilish. The 310mm Nissans at the front offer a nice progressive feel and a wicked bite as well. Basically, you can spend all day on the street triple doing this without getting bored or tired.
Yes, the Street Triple is incredibly thrilling to ride without being daunting. But what makes it all the more impressive is how well it takes to everyday duties. First, the impractical bits. The positioning of the coolant tank is a bit vulnerable on our roads. Then for shorter riders, the 820mm seat height won't feel particularly low. The seat is generously proportioned and plush and the grab rails for the billion are very practical. Sure, the rider's seating position is a bit sporty, but all the controls fall perfectly to hand. Then there is the suspension, which despite its sporty streak, has a pleasant suppleness that protects you from our broken roads. The range of steering movement is great, so that U-turns on narrow roads like these is no problem at all. The digital speedometer and analog taco are easy to read and the LCD also displays lap times. The equipment also includes ABS as standard, which is an absolute must for our roads. And at 8.5 lakh rupees on road Pune, it is sensibly priced too. I've been racking my brains to come up with some downside to the Street Triple, and all I could come up with is well, the headlamps look a bit awkward, and for the highway, be prepared for some wind blast. But that aside, this is a beautifully balanced motorcycle. The engine is exciting without being intimidating. The bike to ride is so much fun and at the same time, it's so practical. It's quite clear the Street Triple is a very apt motorcycle for India and really no surprise that it's Triumph's bestseller globally. So we are at Hosur at TBS's test track. We've just had a quick spin on their latest commuter bike, the Star City Plus. Well, to look at, this bike has been around since 2005, the original Star City. It's more or less the same to look at, but there's a lot of small, small finer detail changes, a couple of extra features and, and by and large now it's a nicely ironed out product. By and large, the, it's, it's a pretty uh, familiar looking motorcycle. There's black on the engine, on the exhaust, on the wheels. There's a slightly new tyre pattern at rear made by TVS themselves. They make their own tyres. You've got uh, nice meters, good switch gear. Earlier there was a little bit of, you know, looks weren't so good around the steering clamp, but that's all taken care of. The engine, basically uh, a 110 cc motor, makes about 8 bhp, and uh, the bike is, is, is not the fastest in its segment, but it's very smooth now, and they've done a lot of work to optimize induction, optimize the exhaust system. It all comes together well, the bike runs smoothly and uh, that's what, you know, a commuter is looking for. The Star Sports, which was an earlier variant of this, came with a tubular swing arm, which wasn't up to the mark and, and far behind what is the industry norm in this segment. But they've sorted that out here, it's got a box section swing arm, which is right up there with the best. Comfortable, it's light at 109 kgs curb weight and it steers pretty well, turns into corners fast and grips pretty good for its segment. I mean, it's not a bike for the racetrack but it's, it's still pretty good enough for your everyday traffic commuting. By and large, there's very little to flaw on this new bike. It's, it's more or less up to speed on all counts and it's sure to take the TVS's existing brand a long way into the future. After this break, Hormuz brings you a scoop on Skoda.